everyone, my name is Samantha Morgan and I'm going to inform you guys about communication in a workplace. So have you ever had a job before? Maybe it was doing chores around the house, babysitting your siblings, or your first job at the pizza place. Uh, were you ever communicating with others during that job? Most of you probably answered yes. So communication is part of our everyday lives, and without it, we would have a very difficult time understanding one another, especially in a workplace environment. First, I will describe the differences in communication between young children and adults in a workplace environment. Second, I will examine miscommunication in a workplace. And third, I will discuss some difficulties with verbal communication in the workplace environment. So having to work in a in an environment where your patients are all different ages is very difficult compared to one where you're just working with uh, one individual that's like the same age. So some advantages with that would be uh, you get to experience and learn new skills and how to cope and communicate with all different ages instead of just one. Some disadvantages would be it is extremely difficult. You have to use different nonverbal and verbal cues for younger people than you have to do with older people. So children, uh, when you use nonverbal cues, and nonverbal cues is messages expressed by non-linguistic means. Some examples would be, say you're a therapist, um, you'd have to gain that child's trust, and you would first have to make them feel safe, so that could be like giving them a hug or smiling a lot, because that encourages them to speak. Um, when talking, you'll wanna make eye contact, and maybe change a voice because when we talk to little kids we tend to have like a higher tone of voice. So nonverbal cues is the use of words uh, we share information with others. That would be like speaking to others or maybe in a written communication. Some examples um, for children would be that you do not want to use big words. You want to use vocab that they understand. Uh, you can maybe use jokes or like wordplay to lighten up the mood and relax them. If the children's not paying attention, you'll want to get their attention back and maybe you'll have to repeat yourself. For adults, nonverbal cues would be you want to make eye contact, gestures like nodding your head, smiling a lot, and it looks like you are into the conversation. Nonverbal cues um, would be that you, or verbal cues, would be that you want to talk in a normal tone of, tone of voice, use higher level vocab, and wait your turn when it's time to listen and then know when it's time to talk. The difficulty with communicating between children and adults can lead to miscommunication. Miscommunication can happen on a day-to-day -day basis with your coworkers. It can be a small misunderstanding or it can also lead to major problems. The person that I interviewed was Tim O'Malley from the children's home and he explained that miscommunication happens a lot um, on a day-to-day -day basis and he said the most that happen or the thing that happens the most is the don't blame me look at you uh, when communicating when miscommunication does occur it triggers a self-defense mecha mechanism which makes it easy to look at another person and blame them a study done um, that I read about showed that 81 percent of workers said that miscommunication happens all the time at all the time um, at uh, workplaces and only half said that like they weren't involved or rarely ever involved. Another survey um, that I read was about the results of miscommunication and what happens in a workplace. So the survey said um, breakdowns in workplace led to 52% of higher stress levels, 42% um, was delayed or failure to the project that they were doing. 25% um, they failed to do their goals, and 18 lost sales. This shows that it can be either a small problem or turn into a big problem like losing sales or a failure at work. So depending on what your profession is, you will most likely have, a, have to verbally talk to your coworkers. At the children's home, Tim O'Malley uses verbal communication every day. He has to directly talk to clients and families and lead one-on-one -on -one group discussions. Um, he leads internal and external groups and meetings, conducts presentations to his coworkers every week. 
some of those difficulties with the verbal communication um, are the cultural and language barriers, he said, are very difficult if you are not familiar with it. Another barrier, barrier that he explained was the gender barrier. Um, these are distinct differences between more than, oh, between the patterns between talking like um, with men and women. A woman talks more than man, men do, and they tend to have uh, a higher level of vocab than boys do. In an article I read, it explained that a woman speaks between 22,000 and 25,000 words a day, then men speak between 7,000 and 10,000. Uh, girls speak earlier than boys, and at the age of three have vocab twice as boys do. So have to tie it all up, um, communicating between younger children and adults, you'd have to use different verbal and nonverbal communication skills. Miscommunication happens on a day-to-day -day basis. It can sometimes lead to small problems, but also lead to bigger problems in the workplace. There are different barriers when it comes to verbal communication in a workplace, especially the cultural, language, and gender barrier. Communication is a part of our everyday lives, and without it, we have a very difficult time understanding one another, especially in a workplace environment. Remember, communication is key. Are there any questions? No. No. no.